Okay, so I'd like to bring um, Nina, um, Nina on Diamond, and she's got a lot to say because she loves what she does and she likes to speak. And uh, we're going to let the next speaker know we're um, running a little bit behind. So I'm sure it's okay because she's stressing out finishing her event. So I met Diamond on uh, Clubhouse. Um, what she does is amazing. And I did a session with her. I said, I got to bring you on board, man. You know, what you, what you just did to me in the past hour was incredible. And uh, I've, I've, I've had a lot of readings with a lot of people in the past couple of years. And she's one that stood out because she uses her cards. Uh, she's not Oracle cards, not tarot cards. These are real cards, real deck cards. And she's going to explain to you what these mean today. She's going to talk to you about discovering your life path with cardiology. She's a master cardiologist who uh, uses metaphysical science. She fell in love with cards um, as a child and uh, at 17 through bid, whistle, and spades. Uh, you're dealt 13 cards to play to win the exact same amount of cards of your life path. So she's going to help you discover your life path through your cards. She also uses it to help you um, help you with your career. Um, so a, either A, you can do a career reading or a personal reading. So she talks about at birth, we have a vibrational frequency that we're here to transcend, to return to our soul path. And she asks you, what is the card? So today she's going to ask you, um, what is your card? She's going to do five minutes for free in her room on um, number seven after she presents. So she's going to be here and then she's going to go into the playroom and then she'll do private sessions until four o'clock. So welcome to the stage. Go ahead, Diamond. I'm sorry, I was in the other room. <laughs> I got popped in and told me, I'm following directions. I was told to go into the breakout rooms and I did. I don't know, it pops up on the screen and it gives directions and I'm trying to follow them. So, hey, everybody, how you how are you doing out here on what we know in Cardiology as the Five of Clubs? Today is definitely a day where you want to feel. This is a day where you want to be. Well, every day we want to feel and every day we want to be intentional. But when we have a day that's ruled with Mercury and it's a five, we want to get into we want to get into our heart, our heart chakra. Because today we can spend a lot of time in our head over processing. This is an over processing energy. In cardiology, we're in club season. And club season is 13 days. And it started probably about six or seven days ago, I'm not, I'm not totally accurate, but if you would have noticed a shift, you would have noticed a shift of you going into a different, feeling differently about things. And today is a very important day because it's a five of clubs and it's a five of clubs and Pluto went retrograde on this energy. So we're all going back and revisiting because that's what retrogrades are. So we're revisiting our communication. So you may be noticing that. You may be noticing that people want to talk a lot, but you may be noticing that people are more challenging. And Pluto rules the eighth house. So think about people that are coming and going. You know, the, the shadows of the eighth house are those people. Those are the people that are coming and going. And people may have, that may have desires that you don't know anything about. So during this time, we want to be mindful of it. We want to be mindful of our communication. We want to be mindful of people's communication because retrogrades are just that. They're about revisiting things. And it's a challenge at, because the five of hearts is a challenge in karma card. And the five of hearts, and for anybody who has a special needs child, today is a day where they're going to test you. This is a day where special needs children are going to be a very challenging. Anytime a five of hearts or a five of clubs shows up or anything in that life path, special needs children are going to need extra attention. And we don't generally know that. We don't generally understand that the anxiety and things that they're feeling is because they can't communicate it. Mercury is a non-binary, non-judgmental planet. So children are observing us. And while they're observing us, they're trying to make sense. So think of your child looking at you today and trying to make sense of what you're doing and what you're talking about and how they want to communicate it back to you. So they are gonna need some distractions. You need lots of things to maybe let them go outside, let them roam, let them be as free as they possibly can be today while you are being a parent, okay? You don't just wanna open the door and say, get out. You want them to be able to go outside, but you want supervision, right? So if your child is a little extra today, that's why. 
because this energy is is like I was saying earlier, when we think of a five and we think of tic-tac-toe, when we're sitting, well, the other person is making the move, we're strategizing. So today is a day of strategy and it's strategizing how to communicate. It's not like you just don't want to say anything today just because you want to say it because Pluto's retrograde. So that means that you're going to revisit this conversation when Pluto goes direct. So you want to be careful of the conversations that you're having. The eighth house is where we live at. This is where we go out in the mundane world. And these are the people, places, and things that we come across. And people want to talk. You know, we had a major decision yesterday that has got people really amped and people want to talk about it. So all of the configurations that are out there, all of these planetary alignments are lining up for our um, Pluto return in two years. So we as light workers and people that are seeking us that and, and you're seeking light workers because you want to you want to unlock your light. So today is definitely that day in this fear to get in contact with someone that can assist you with that because we all have special gifts and things that we're here. We have things that we're here to discover and we have things that we're here to share. And today is one of those days. The Fiber Club sits in, sits in um, Venus and Mars, right? So it's an action driven card. So this is about you today. This is about the things that you want to do. These are the things that, no, it's not Mars. I'm sorry, I just had it's, it's in Saturn, right? So today is a day where people are going to want to be recognized for the things that they do. So this is a great day. When somebody tests you today, you need to look at it because Saturn is a 10th house. That's where you want to shine, but that's the work. If you haven't done the work, then you can't get upset with Saturn. Like today is a day where you can sit down with your, vo your boss and talk about your raise, right? And your boss is going to have that conversation with you. You're going to talk about whether or not you deserve a raise or not. But this is a great day to ask for a raise. Not saying you're going to get it, but it's a great day to ask for a raise because today is an energy field where you're going to sit and be able to show the work that you've done in Saturn. The 10th house is very important. It's where you shine. So today we got a lot of 10th house activity, but we also have Venus and we also, so that means we have Taurus and we have Libra. So today we're going to get all pretty earlier on. Sherry was saying, go put on some lipstick. And I was just cracking up. I said, because that's Taurus. Taurus is that aesthetic beauty. It is the material things that people use to, to attract the things that they want, right? So today we have Taurus, something that is, say you have a favorite hat that you put on all the time and you go out and the person sees your hat and you start a conversation about your hat. That's how relationships begin. Relationships begin by what people see, right? People see something about you that they're attracted to. So today is a very attractive day. People who are born today and born under this card are very attractive. And they want you to know that they know that they're attractive, right? So they will have certain characteristics that will draw you to them, right? But Taurus is that. But Venus, when you get into Venus, you have Taurus, you have Libra, but Libra is the obligation. So you might say, well, yeah, I appreciate you liking my hat and you just keep it moving. Or there may be a point where a deeper conversation comes, a deeper relationship comes just because of that hat. But Libra is the obligation. It's like, do I really want to go any further with this relationship? Oh, I do. I just want to leave it on the surface. That's what Libra is going to be asking Taurus because the relationship can just be as, as simple as it's just a hat. But we know that sometimes relationships get complicated. And today will be the day where relationships can get complicated because the attraction is there and you may not want to be obligated to that attraction. But if you've initiated that, on the Five of Clubs Day, it's about communication. So you want to communicate to people about the relationships that you have, the relationships that you're in, and the relationships that you want to develop. Because today, people got proof. It's the 10th house. It's Saturn. People got proof. People are standing there saying, yeah, this is you. This is, this is you. This is where you stand out in the 10th house. So today you can stand out for being a great communicator, or you can stand out for being someone that's very argumentative and disruptive. 
it is a very disruptive energy on a low vibration. High vibration is a, a relationship where you can discover a lot about yourself. This energy has a Mercury card. We have a life path and it has 13 cards in it, right? So, so we discover our 13 cards and our life path and that's how we discover what we came here to be. Now today is a relationship card. It is definitely a relationship card, but it's a different kind of relationship. Today is a day where you will initiate relationships, but like I said, it's going to come with obligations. But the five of clubs is not necessarily Fives are not written tied to obligations. So if you're born under that, you may be somebody that starts relationships and then wants to move on, right? So today has a three of diamonds in Mercury. And the three of diamonds is the card of Donald Trump. And this is a very powerful card. This is a card that, is 20, that sits in 29 degrees. And we know in astrology that 29 degrees is a critical degree. So when we see Donald Trump, we people don't like him, but they like him. People want to hear everything Donald Trump got to say, but they don't like him because that's the energy we have today. Today is an energy where it draws you in, where I want to know what you're saying. I want to, I want to see what's happening really behind that veil. There's, a, there's something that's happening and you want to discover it through this energy. And it's very, this is an energy that is, I don't care what people say about Donald Trump. There's something hidden behind that man. I, it, you could call him anything you want to call him, but you they call him the Teflon Don. You'll never put your finger on him. There's something about this energy field and people that are able to open up this energy field that are um, able to move and, and, and just kind of move through life the way he has moved through, through life, right? So think about this energy today and the things to how you're gonna get triggered. You're gonna get Donald Trump kind of triggering today, right? This is the energy field where people are gonna say stuff and you're gonna be like, I wanna know more or, or move. <laughs> That's it, that's what Donald Trump, right? It's like, I wanna know more about what you're talking about. Or else, nope, I don't want, it depends on where it hits you. This energy is going to hit you. It's going to trigger you and it's going to activate something inside of you. And you got to have the courage to want to know more. Today is a day of wanting to know more. Today is a day of, is of going deep and with those penetrating questions and understanding the obligation the obligation. If you ask the question, now there's an obligation attached to it. If you want to know, you got to do the work. So this is the, 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 why cardiology is such an amazing science. The cards are such an amazing science because they let us look behind the veil. You go out today and you're sitting around and you're watching people chatter and you're watching people argue and you're watching disagreements and you're watching the ebb and the flow and you're like, oh, today's a five. This is how energy is going to be because fives are ruled by Mercury. People want to communicate, but people are supposed to be communicating from a non judgmental. Mercury is non judgmental. Mercury is non binary. Mercury is not male nor female. It does not have any attachments and is very detached. In cardiology, our first 13 years are ruled by Mercury. So our first 13 years of sitting, watching our parents saying, what the hell? That's what we're doing from the moment we're born. Think about a baby sitting there and it gets hungry and it whines a little bit. Mom goes, either breastfeeds or gives us a bottle. That's an attachment. That baby is now understanding that, yeah, this is an attachment. When I have this feeling, I get fed or I don't. I can have a parent that's not paying attention and it takes time. So this baby develops it. This is not, this is not a, a good feeling. I'm hungry. So as this baby develops and watches this parent, this baby is trying to make the connection between I'm hungry and you don't get it, right? So that's another attachment that we have. We have attachments to our siblings. So our siblings is like, we could have a sister and our sister and say we have, a, we have some sort of di disagreement with our parent because our Mercury triggers our parents' Mercury. Mercury attaches to something. So if your parent is Gemini and you're, Vir you're Virgo, you'll, you'll, you'll be a good match because Gemini and Vir Virgo are ruled by uh, Mercury, right? But suppose your sibling is ruled by Saturn. 
So your sibling is ruled by Saturn and your sibling is like, why do you get along with mom and I don't? That's the trauma that happens in cardiology. That what cardiology teaches us is because your card and your mom's card has a similar, similar energy and yours doesn't. So we get a chance to discover why our siblings, why it doesn't make sense. Why things that happen the first 13 years of our lives are things that we trauma bond for the rest of our life. It's like we meet someone and we have a conversation and we're like, yeah, my mom used to do that. That's a trauma bond. You have this, you have this conversation that, that wakes up a memory that you didn't even know that you still carry. And it becomes a trauma bond. And we don't want to do that. We want to heal our mercury card and we want to heal those first 13 years. And cardiology gives us that. Cardiology gives us a chance to heal these these periods in our life by unpacking the energy field that we're in. And today being in five of clubs is definitely going to bring up mercurial things, things that have happened that trigger you from your first 13 years. You may get a phone call from a sibling or a parent or someone that triggers you today. I mean, you just don't understand why am I triggered? And especially if you have special needs children, they're going to be triggered today. They are going to need to do something that's in, that is going to let them experience what fives are. Fives are all over the place. And this is the thing with autistic children. In cardiology, we learn that autistic children are ruled by the five of hearts. That's a very emotional card, but it's called a card of ghosting. And if you ever seen an autistic child, just fade right in front of you. Being a social worker, I've worked with lots of autistic parents and autistic children, and I'm pretty much sure I'm on the spectrum in some kind of way. Because I have, I've had lots of learning disabilities as a child. But when you look at an autistic child and you see them just fade and disappear before you, it's because they don't like the mundane world. Cardiology teaches us that. Cardiology teaches us that the autistic children, so-called special needs children, are smarter than all of us. They know that the mundane world is a very scary place and they disappear inside their magical world inside of themselves. So cardiology is, helps us to unpack all of these things. It's something that I use in my practice all the time. Is definitely something that is giving me a broader perspective on life and how to navigate through it whenever there's something that's coming up. If it's a business client or it's a personal client that wants something, is looking at a relationship, you would look at um, their seven year spread. And I can look inside of your seven year spread and, and we can determine whether or not you want to do relationships or whether or not you're going to, um, you know, just go deep inside of your. Um, your um, career. This week is a very relationship. Last week was a card of, of a week of relationships. This week, each week we transition in the United States into a different week and we look at it to determine what we need to be doing. So card, the cards give us so much texture to life. If you know the cards, if you know today's a five of clubs and you had to go to work, you understand that people are going to want to talk. There's no reason for you to go to work today and be in your feelings because people want to talk. You know it's a five. You're saying it's ruled by it's ruled by Mercury communication. So this is what we use cardiology for. We use it to unpack our lives. We use it to develop the strategies that we need for us to navigate through life, for us to do the things that we need to do and be able to do them well. It's not by no strange coincidence that we're all here in this place at this time. We all have some sort of connection and we're trying to, dis to discover how to navigate. And that's what we use the cause for. That's what we use astrology for. And that's what we use numerology for. So remember, today's a five. Fives are ruled by Mercury. So that's communication. It's a club, which is more communication. And it's mental. And you don't want to get trapped in the process. Today is a day you want to get into that heart chakra. Today is a day where you want to pull it down into the heart chakra so you can have a very you can have a more interesting conversation with people and not over process it and not overthink it. Because today is ruled by Mercury. And Mercury is non-judgmental, it's non-binary, and it wants to explore. So that's me. And um, I'm, how many more minutes do I have, Sherry? Because I could talk forever. I want to make sure I stay in 
my allotted time. Sherry there? Oh, we just talking until she kicks us off the stage. <laughs> Because Sherry about that life, she would kick you off the stage, right? So I'm going to keep talking because she is not, she, she didn't say to stop. So cardiology in a nutshell, it is, um, I am, I am here. The fact that you ran a little late, so you got another 10 more minutes. I have another 10 more minutes. Yeah. Oh, yep. okay. yeah. Oh, Just okay. letting you guys know, um, room number two is open. Um, actually diamond, you're supposed to go into that room. So uh, whether you want to stay here or move to the next room, but I'd rather you stay here and then move you into the next room because the other person is going to be right behind you. Okay. We're going to wait. We're going to wait for her to show up. So keep going. All righty. So cardiology in a nutshell is going to help you navigate your life. It's a personal journey. We all have cards that are assigned to us. My card is an eight of diamonds. I'm an eight person. So anything that I start, I got to finish. I, if you go to the dictionary right now and you pull up anxiety, you're going to see my picture there. I have anxiety through the roof. I was born with anxiety and I suffered with anxiety for a lot of years until I discovered cardiology because I discovered that it's not anxiety, it's my GPS system. So cardiology has helped me to heal those wounds that I had from my first 13 years because I felt that nobody saw me and they didn't. Nobody saw me, nobody knew what to do with me as a child. Nobody knew they were like, she'll be okay. My mother, I was number seven, so as she was tired by the time she got to me, but I didn't know that. I just felt invisible all the time. So I developed uh, uh, myself and, and all of my little friends that, you know, we all have the downloads and the conversations that I had was my life. I didn't know that they were ancestors and they were guides until I learned cardiology, right? So learning cardiology has helped me heal those wounds because having anxiety and missing, I am the person who will talk myself out of something. I will get inside of my head and have 5,000 reasons why I shouldn't do it. That's me. So learning cardiology is a challenge is I'm supposed to do it. My challenge in common cause of five of hearts is a card of autism. So I am afraid of the world. I'm afraid of the mundane world. I am. I got proof that the mundane world is a jacked up place. I've been out there, I'm 64 years old. I've been out here long enough to know that when you go out in the mundane world, you have no control. But cardiology has shown me that it's my challenge, that when I go out in the mundane world, I got to take my spiritual practices with me. I have to know all of the things that I have, the protection and all of the things that I have to go out there. Like today, it just before I got on here, everything that could go wrong went wrong. Normally, I would say that's it. I would text Sherry and say, I'm done, not doing it. But I can't do that anymore because I know my card. I got to rise to the occasion. I got to come on here and act like my life is not a shit show. That's cardiology. It tells you that you got to get through this. And as I got through these things, I learned and I became more empowered. So my card is an eight, and eights are ruled by Saturn. So I am someone that's known for doing and keeping going and all that good stuff. A eight, wherever if you draw eight out, wherever it started ends. So anything that I start, I have to complete. And I didn't discover that until I discovered cardiology. I was a ghoster. I cut and run and I didn't care what people thought because I was afraid. Fear, crippling fear, breaking out with your hands sweating. And I mean, the fear that I had was crazy. Now that I understand my card and I understand my challenges, I do it. I make it happen. And everything is always about timing. Everything works out perfectly. So that's it in a nutshell. So hopefully, you know, you want to book a session with me today. Today, we can sit and we can um, take those few minutes to discover some things about you and it'll lead you into your life path. I have a university that I developed called Cardiology University where I teach cardiology. I'm on Clubhouse every day I teach cardiology. I'm a cardiology junkie. I have a community that's about 5,000 people strong that want to know about metaphysical sciences. So I look forward to sharing all of that information with you. And I am going to my room. Um, well, she said I'll be there in the room. 
Now, what we're going to do is they're going to follow you to the playroom for now an experience. Okay. So you're, you're going to take them on a little journey if anybody would like to follow her. But before we do that, we're going to do a door prize because she has a door prize that she's going to give away. So I want you guys to put in the chat from zero to 100 and the closest number to the number that she's going to write down. Don't look at the screen, write down on a sticky note or a piece of paper. Okay. If anybody wants to win a session with her, who would not win a session with this lady? Come on, guys. She's a, she's a master cardiologist. I, every time I, pray, I write cardolo, cardiologist, they correct me. They think it's cardiologist. Yeah, it's, it's cardiologist. It's just write cardiologist. But it's kind of funny. It's just one letter. It's I-O. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. no matter what, you know, you know, I keep getting this gram grammatical checking. I'm like, no, this is card cards. So how is the cards affecting your cardiology? Yeah, I'm Honestly. saying that's what I tell people all the time. I'm a cardiologist. OK, yes, yeah. I don't I don't disagree anymore. I'm like, it is. It's true. But, but your cards are connecting to their heart and the yes. cardiology. If you can help them get to the middle of their heart or their stress, they're yes. not going to have a heart attack. OK. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's too close for comfort in the words honestly yeah. guys i cannot wait to have a session with her because i got so many things going on with my life i just signed a contract yesterday with balboa press i'm and she told me it was going to happen she says get ready you're going to get down and busy you're going to do so much paperwork you got so much going on and uh she's great so guys let's do a five four three two one and she's going to hold up a number and coming up next, we have Bhavna in the main room and then follow um, Diamond over to room number one for an interaction experience, okay? We'll do a five, four, put your number in the chat, three, put your number in the chat, two, number in the chat, and one. Okay, hold it up. What's your number? True. You can't see this backwards. Seven. Looks like a Mary Rose. Mary Rose. Congratulations, Mary Rose. Congratulations, Mary Rose. <laughs> Diamond. I'm just going to write down Mary Rose. And everybody follow her over to room number two, uh, number one right now for the Playroom Experience. If you want to have her pull some cards, ask her some questions, do some interaction, and we're going to have Bobna coming up next. Okay, thank you so much. You're awesome, amazing. So if you have a problem, we'll move you. Don't worry about it. Vicky's here to help move you. 